Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to this week's Children's Corner. It's great to be back after our Christmas holidays, back to our usual weekly Sunday school. It's an exciting time, isn't it, the start of a new year? And some people use New Year to make resolutions or to make promises about what they're going to do in the coming year. You know, some people make a New Year's resolution that they're going to get fit and start exercising every day. Uh, maybe you might make a resolution to say you're going to tidy your bedroom and keep it tidy, or that you're going to try harder and do more work in school, that you'll do your homework first thing when you come in after school, or there could be all sorts of different New Year's resolutions that we make. But I don't know if you've made any or not, but whether you have or not, you know, New Year's always a chance for a new start, a new beginning, to forget past mistakes and to look to the future. Our Bible reading today is from Mark's Gospel. It's from chapter 1, and I'm going to read you a few verses beginning at verse 4. And in it we read about a man called John the Baptist. Now, John was a man who went around the country proclaiming to the people that they needed to repent and ask God for forgiveness of their sins. In other words, they needed to make a new start, a new beginning with God. And as they repented and received forgiveness, then John took them to a big river called the River Jordan, and he baptized them there in the water of the River Jordan. So here we are in Mark chapter 1, verse 4. John appeared, baptizing in the wilderness, and proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And all the country of Judea and all Jerusalem were going out to him, and were being baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, and wore a leather belt around his waist, and ate locusts and wild honey. And he preached, saying, After me comes one who is mightier than I, the strap of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, immediately he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. Now even Jesus himself was baptised by John in the Jordan. And at the end of his life, Jesus said to his disciples to go out, go into all the world, make disciples of all the nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And because Jesus commanded it, that's what we still do today. We teach, we baptise, we make disciples. You know, when we're baptised, it's a new start, a new beginning with God. It's the start of our new life in God. But every time we come to worship, we begin by saying sorry to God for all the things we've done wrong. And we ask for God to forgive us that we can start again week by week. Because we all make mistakes. We all need to start again. And we can't always wait for the next new year to come along. And we sing our song this week. It's number 658 in our Red Hymn books. One more step along the world I go.
bless you. God keep you safe. And let's see you again next week.